This is the Iowa Weather Report for Sunday, March the 17th, 2013. Now our first look at the Zero Z GFS model run. This is at 1 p.m. this afternoon. We have a pretty zonal flow across most of the country. Some energy coming through the northern Rockies into the northwest and western Canada. And with that, that could bring a bit of snow up there across Montana and into Wyoming and Idaho. And we have a storm system just to our south producing some rain and a little bit of snow activity there as well. Just a few increasing clouds around here. With the snow coming in from the west here late tonight, overnight mainly, into Monday. Some accumulations mainly north of about U.S. Highway 30. Rain snow mix south of there with highs in the 30s. And then it stays cold for quite a while. With the low over the Great Lakes and a secondary low forming off the New England coastline. The northwesterly winds continue here Tuesday. They continue even here into Wednesday as the Greenland block takes hold. And temperatures still likely below average in the 30s. Maybe nearing 40 in some areas. Storm system off to our west slowly pushes our way here Thursday, but still in a northwesterly flow and cool cool or cold dry air will eat away at that storm system. So a lot of the moisture you see off to our west will slowly move to the south and southeast. We could see some snow showers or maybe a few flurries moving into the state Friday, the heaviest amount of snow most likely from this system will be the furthest to the west as the storm really loses a lot of it its energy and moisture here on Saturday as a new low forms off the Florida panhandle in the Gulf will be putting a lot of the moisture down in the south and eastern part of the country and a week from today that system starts to move up the east coast as the trough starts to lift out ridge over the west the Greenland block by this point is starting to dissolve. In fact, it's very hard to discern on this map. At the surface, we'd have a low pressure center off of the Virginia Tidewater and still staying cold around here. Highs likely in the 30s to near 40, which is about 5 to 10 degrees below seasonal averages. A couple days later, as we move into Voodoo on the 28th, zonal flow across most of the country outside of a trough and some energy and a short wave moving into California. And with this fairly progressive pattern, we could see some moisture around here and warmer temperatures by this point. Maybe temperatures or readings back into the 40s and 50s, maybe, with a little bit of rainfall around. That'll be a nice change from the cold. And then at the end of the forecast on the 1st of April, this won't be no April Fool's Day here. We have a zonal flow again across the country, a little bit of troughs here and there, some energy in the northwest and again in the northeast, and around here maybe a little bit of warm breezy weather out of the south, maybe a sprinkle or two, a little bit of rain up in Minnesota, some rain across the southeast, and some rain and mountain snow over the Pacific Northwest, so cold to start out, but then it looks to warm up toward April. Satellite image from last evening showed some cloudiness streaming into the state from the south and west. The next storm system moving through our neck of the woods is over the Pacific Northwest and Western Canada, and that'll be coming in later today into Monday. The watch warning map from last evening, we had a strip of winter weather advisories from central Missouri eastward into southern Ohio and northern Kentucky. Some winter weather issues across Minnesota where a blizzard watch is in effect and across North Dakota, further west to Washington and Oregon. QPF chart, precipitation over the next five days through Thursday evening at 7 o'clock, showing in liquid equivalent amounts anywhere between about a tenth to maybe a quarter of an inch, maybe a third of an inch. Rain and snow in the south, snow to the north.